Naples, then we will move on to Naples, and then we will come back to Brussels. So first, uh, in Brussels, please. Yes. Thank you very much, General. Uh, the weekend we heard about some uh, news that there were some planes, aeroplanes, in the air. Aeroplanes from uh, Gaddafi regime signed with the Red Cross. How is it possible that there will be uh, almost uh, some, uh, some aeroplanes in the air? Uh, we know uh, Gaddafi has no more aeroplanes. Thank you for the question. As a matter of fact, all these I read the reports and we had lots of reports talking about helicopters wearing the Red Cross on them, but we have no, absolutely, we have no evidence at all. What I can say, it's been five days since we last had the last report talking about helicopters overflying Libya. We know for sure, we know for sure that the Libyan jets are not flying their skies anymore. And let Please me identify ask, yourself because the cross a military aircraft is breaching the international laws and it will not be accepted. Um, Kani Klasch from German television uh, ZDF. Um, we had reports that uh, governmental buildings in Tripolis were bombed. Can you give us some more information about uh, which building were bombed and whether Gaddafi was uh, in this area too or whether he was an aim to? That's the first part of my question and if you allow a second one. Uh, Carmen just introduced that uh, there were reports in The Guardian, Le Monde and some other uh, important newspapers that uh, there was a ship between Lampedusa and uh, Libya um, and uh, there was a helicopter uh, above that ship and the refugees said uh, it just um, um, dropped some bottles of water and some food but then was never seen again, there was no help from NATO. Can you give us some more information about that? Okay, I will start from answering the second part of the question. And we have, I've read the reports too, talking about this affair, but I can say that there is no absolute evidence of NATO ships being involved in such events. What I can tell you for sure, that in case NATO ships were directly involved in such events, the NATO captains of the ship will do everything in their power to ensure that their, their behavior is according to the international maritime laws and traditions. Now let's go back to the first part. I didn't, I'm, did, I'm not sure I catch the exact uh, uh, meaning of the question. Could you please repeat it? Um, I repeat it. It's just uh, that we had reports that uh, governmental buildings, buildings of uh, President Gaddafi were um, or were attacked. Can you give us some information which kind of buildings uh, these were and what the NATO goals were? Goals were. Okay, uh, well, uh, all the targets, as I said before during my speech, all NATO targets are military targets, which means that the targets we've been hitting, and it happened also last night in Tripoli, are command and control bunkers. And uh, again, just to make clear the stuff that NATO is not targeting individuals. It's not in our mandate. Our mandate is to protect civilian population from attacks or from the threat of attacks by Gaddafi regime forces. Next question there. It's a follow-up question. Um, those reports about the buildings bombed in Tripoli last night, uh, the Libyan government said one of those buildings was a children's center. Could you comment on that, please? Comment on that, please. Well, again, I've read the reports and uh, I can tell you again that we have no evidence at all. We have no people on the ground, so we cannot confirm or deny the information which has been released by the Libyan government. What I can assure you is that the targets we're, we're after are only command and control military sites. And those command and control sites are being targeted because they're, they have a direct link with the violence being given to the Libyan population. Uh, now, Rach, uh, the next questions uh, go to Naples, please. Gaddafi non si è vista in pubblico da parecchio.